what you guys got another video here for you this windows 11 tip will save you a lot of time what if i told you you can install all microsoft c runtimes at one time this would save you a massive amount of time because these uh, installations need to be done one at a time but if you get them all into one uh, place you can actually install all of these now you can see microsoft when you install a fresh copy of windows 10 or windows 11 or any other version of windows a lot of these are not installed and many many programs will need these to run correctly or even run at all some games and applications need this to be installed before it even run so there is a link in here which i'm going to link downstairs in the video description and you can check that out this will install 15 17 19 and 2022 all of the visual studio installations will be installed with one executable file this saves a massive amount of time when it comes to finding these because a lot of people try to run applications and they just won't run because these need to be installed now they do free downloads arm 64 x86 and x64 if you're running windows uh, 11 you will need the x64 and you can download and install it now you can get links to all of the uh, visual studios on here and download them and this is going to allow you to install them uh, whenever you like so you can download this one this is going to have a bundle in here and it's directly from microsoft and you'll be able to install it on your pc if you click on i agree to the license terms and conditions click install and it will go ahead and install all of these from 15 right up to 2022 this saves a lot of time uh, of finding these on the internet because it can be pretty difficult now that's all installed and you can then restart your pc and you should be good to go but there are loads of other ones that people might need to install and you can see them listed up on the top of the right hand side of the screen here there's 15 17 19 and 22 you've got 13 and you've also got 12 10 8 and 2005 these are all years that they release these now some of these are no longer supported but some old applications may need these to be installed to work correctly so if you're using old legacy software or you've got some piece of uh, application or program that you want to use that needs this then you will need to find it and download it so the link here in the video description will be very useful for you to go directly to here and download whatever one you need to install sadly microsoft hasn't bundled all of these into one big executable file which would make it really easy as you can see here you have to go through this painful process of uh, downloading which ones you want clicking on them and then clicking on the install and this will then go ahead and install these onto the pc so a pretty time consuming process but as a pc repair tech you're always installing things like these when you do a fresh install and also as a it person you may need to install these on many different machines so having one file which you can click on and install would be really useful now in the past there has been people that have created these bundles for you to install and you can install them on your pc i'll show you that a little bit later on once i've restarted the system and got these installed on my computer so if you prefer to go down this method of installing them singular like this and only installing the main essential ones at the beginning by all means i'll leave that link in the video description as well where you can use this to install them uh, whenever you like but if you want to use this other way of doing it which i'll show you after i've rebooted the pc i'll show you basically how you can install all of them in one fell swoop it really is super quick and easy so let's take a look at control panel and we can take a look at just installing the latest from microsoft here it doesn't put them all on the system now if you're running really old programs or certain types of programs that require the microsoft visual c uh, you will need to install other ones as well which you would have to do manually on your own which takes a fair bit of time but with this lovely little bit of kit you can install all of them in one fell swoop using a batch file and basically all you need to do is head over to tech power up and download it choose which download link you want to download it and then you can see here it's been updated with the latest updates now the good thing is that all the files are digitally signed by microsoft which means it guarantees that they are unaltered 
and they are exactly how they should be authentic and original from Microsoft themselves. So this is the beauty of using this method. So these files have come from Microsoft. Again, if you want to download your own files and drop them into that folder, by all means you can do so, but they already have been done and checked. And you can see here, that all you need to do here is extract all of the files onto your desktop. And then what you can do is run this batch file and basically it's just going to tell it to install all of these files which you see me download earlier from Microsoft's website so you can see here we can open this up and I'm going to edit this and just show you what the uh, batch file looks like inside it's basically just a batch file telling it to install each and every one of these executable files which are in that little folder there so that's all it's doing so it's a really quick way of doing things it saves you having to download all these one at a time and then going ahead and clicking on them and installing them so it's a really useful way of getting them installed on many computers at one time especially if you have many computers to install all of this stuff on it's great if you've just done a fresh install and you want to get all of this uh, stuff installed onto the pc because these are not pre-installed on your computer when you install Windows. You have to go and do all of this after the fact. So if you've just done a fresh install of Windows, you're going to need to go out and download all of these and then get them installed on your PC, especially if you've got software and programs and things like that that are not running correctly and you're getting errors or you're getting missing DLL files. This is what you'll need to do to get this installed and remove all of these error codes you may be getting when you're trying to run an application or you're trying to run a program and you're getting error codes coming back with missing files or missing DLL files. It's because you need to install these applications here. So a pretty straightforward and easy uh, solution. And again, if you look in control panel, you'll see them all listed here. So if you're looking for a quick way to reinstall all of your Visual C++ redistribution runtimes, then this is how you can do it. So I hope you enjoyed this sort of content. Let me know in the comments section below whether you like this sort of content. Check out my YouTube channel. I've got over 2,500 videos on there of stuff, how to build computers, how to fix windows, useful how-to videos, backing up your computer, loads of stuff on there like malware removal, product reviews, all that sort of good stuff. While you're there, maybe hit the subscribe button and hit the bell and click all to be notified when we upload new videos. Also, if you want to show your support for a little bit of money, you can join my YouTube members group. I've got three tiers of support. It's a reoccurring payment and you can cancel at any time. Each line of support has different perks, so check those out. Anyway, that is going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you want to see your name rolling up on the screen like this, then you will need to click on the join button and join my tier two support group and uh, you will see your name added to that list. Have a lovely weekend, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.